FIFA 22 is the best FIFA yet. Many of you laughed at me. I made a Twitter poll and a lot of people were thinking, right, you're trying nonsense. Yeah, make sure to check out my Twitter down below, guys, so you don't miss out on these kind of polls and you can get involved in these videos. But let's talk about FIFA 22 then. FIFA 22 for me has the highest skill gap since FIFA 18. And yes, a lot of people argue with me. And that is where the but comes in, guys. And it's a huge, huge but. There is a few things we need to talk about when it comes to FIFA 22. Yes, it could be the best FIFA since 18. But... So guys, the first bot is it depends on your connection. I don't think there can be a bigger bot than this. This game works well if it's good connection. If it's bad connection, it works absolutely trash, guys. It doesn't work. And look, I have a video which obviously is from last year. You know, guys, make sure to check it out on connection and how EA does servers and all that kind of stuff if you want more information on that. But seriously, people, seriously, when will EA fix it, man? And it's just excuses after excuses, man. Apparently, Battlefield, um, you know, coming out on EA Play and all this other nonsense is stopping EA from working on the service. I, I, I just don't buy this nonsense. You know, when you're making literally 7 to 8 billion a year from this game, you should be able to invest in very, very good servers. Unbelievable, guys. And genuinely, connection is the big, big butt here. The game does not work in bad connection and this is the worst connection i've had so far in any fifa game since 17 and guys i play on wired man i don't have issues with connection it's shocking what ea has done with it and genuinely if you do not live in the country wow if you don't live in the country i say country country obviously with a server you are absolutely screwed guys you really are, because even living in one, living in the same city, living down the road from one doesn't mean anything. Never mind about being, you know, you have to be like Anders, yeah? Only Anders can live with it, because guys, he has a literal server under his feet, that's why. And this is why we are where we are. Right guys, the next button, this is very important, what console you play on. Now, this is such a big debate, guys. Xbox old gen versus new gen and then PlayStation old gen versus new gen. Let's talk about this because this is so important. A lot of people made this very clear to me. Xbox old gen feels like PlayStation 5 new gen. Yes, graphics and all that is different, guys, but we're talking about how quick the gameplay is and all the rest. And then the new gen on Xbox feels like the old gen on PlayStation, meaning basically the old gen on PlayStation is trash, as is the Xbox new gen. And then obviously, um, Xbox old gen is faster and smoother as is PlayStation 5's uh, next gen. And guys, what is that all about? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Why is the next gen not good on Xbox, but it's good on PlayStation? Like, guys, it doesn't make any sense. And let's be honest, this is another big but. Do you have the cash to splash? <laughs> no? Well, screw you then. You're not going to have a good game, are you? Even though we're still running the same engine. It just doesn't make sense sense time and time again i say to people don't keep mocking people that don't have a playstation 5 it's not the fault man all of, all of us have the greatest financial uh circumstances and it is shocking it is shocking guys you need to let me know down in the comments below which one you find a struggle with and once again whether fifa is the best depends on that guys the gameplay could be incredible on all gen i recalled all my videos on all gen i'll tell you why it's smooth i don't want you guys to watch some game that keeps glitching out and you know stopping and going I, I, it just it is how it is um but once i get my playstation 5 obviously i'll be on my playstation 5 it, it you know it, it comes down to that at the end of the day but guys do you have the cash to splash no then he says screw you you don't matter. They don't care about you. You're not a customer. The customer is the one that splashes the cash. The deals they have with Sony, the deals they have with everything else, guys. And it's just a mess. Now, a huge but in this um, whole conversation. And I think this is the biggest one, guys, that I need to talk about. It is boring. I cannot tell you how boring this FIFA is. Now, you'll be thinking, right, you're being a bit harsh. Yeah, if gameplay is good, technically, how can the game be bad? How can the game be boring? It is the biggest bar ever. It is just, there's nothing to do. I don't know how to explain this. There's no need to have a good team because genuinely, I can get rank 1 of a 100k team. It doesn't matter, right? Second of all, what am I actually grinding for? Foot Champions does not feel rewarding, guys. Let's talk about that. Foot Champions does not feel rewarding. 20 games of absolute nonsense. I prefer the 30 games of absolute mental torture and mental health destruction rather than these, this 20, these 20 games. Because these 20 games give me nothing, man. I just don't get any satisfaction from winning. It's like, yay, great. I'm going to get another rank 1 of a dead team. 
there's no need for it because rewards are trash anyway, so it's not like I'll get anything. Rewards are not rewards, they're just collectibles at this point. It, I don't understand, I just don't like see the need for the system the way it is. Rivals grind is not really there. I mean, maybe it would be for me if obviously I was still competing this year. Um, and, you know, coming next year probably will be, but... Look, guys, there's just nothing to grind for the casual player. Rivals is dead because it doesn't really get you anything. You get a better team, and what, you're going to secure the same rank? Guys, you have to let me know. But I think the content is very, very poor as well. Along with that, the cards are not worth it. The SBCs are really not there. There's been only few and far, you know, in between that have been really good. You know, we had the Fellaini objective, which has been amazing in comparison to everything else they've released. That, you know, it's cheeky little Belgian hullet, you could literally call him. Um, but apart from that, guys, it's been absolutely tragic in terms of content. This new Adidas numbers up. Worst promo I've ever seen. I mean, what the hell is the point of this promo? There's just no point. <laughs> Guys, I hate to complain because, look, like I said, I like the gameplay. I'll be honest with you. I like the gameplay and a lot of you will hate on me. And I want you to hate on me. Hit me out in the comments. But Guys, I think it is the best game with a huge, huge butt here and there. And that's what stops this game from completely progressing up to the higher echelons like the FIFA 17 and FIFA 18 games. Obviously not beating FIFA 17, which is what I'm counting from because we're not going to talk about the nostalgia before that. That is kind of, you know kind of at the forefront of all our thinking process in, in terms of all the other games before that but it, you know where we are right now with the game is just boring I don't know what to do on the game I'm here to record videos and that's it but guys for you I don't know what you have to do it's just boring Guys, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think another FIFA was the best. I want you to argue with me. Get down there in the comments, guys, and let me know. I love you all. You're all incredible. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell me what you want to talk about next because we have a lot of things to talk about FIFA-related. And until next time, peace.